So hi dear Virgo, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a journal of reading for all the Virgo Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 23rd till the 29th of October and this reading is valid for every 12th sign that you're dealing with along with your own sign. My wind chime is going crazy, so enjoy and uh, background um, music is also coming for you guys. So let's start. Your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment, Virgo. Hmm. We have the chariot. Someone is trying to move on or someone is just trying to like uh, get something out of the situation and make this work out. We will clarify what is happening, but the chariot is the card of strong willpower. Like this is what I want and this is what I want to get and I'm going to do it. Okay, No one can stop me. Let's clarify the chariot as their feelings for you. It's like this person's energies are pulling in two different directions right now. But they're very willing to do something about it. Let's see the Empress, the Chariot and the Three of Pentacles. See, Virgo, this is someone who feels like making this work out no matter how much time, effort, energy, willpower, whatever it's going to take to make this work out between you and them, they are ready to do that. They feel like they should put in the effort and energy in this situation because they can see, they see a potential in the situation, a huge potential in the situation and they, they feel like this should not be a missed kind of opportunity. Because this situation can really turn out beautiful in the coming future if they are not going to give up. So they feel like not giving up on the situation because they see a beautiful future, future between you and them. Wow. See, they are very clear about this that you guys have a very huge potential and they don't want to make it as a missed kind of opportunity. Now take it how it resonates with you. It could be you. It could be them. It could be you, right? Yeah. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side, Virgo. Ten of Pentacles. From your side, I think either you are too much focused on money, job, career or family kind of uh, things or you feel like, okay, you should be with someone who is going to create this kind of family kind of happily ever after kind of dynamic between you and them. So let's clarify. We have the four of swords, the five of swords. <laughs> you are in this energy of you. <laughs> oh my God, Virgo. You are trying to like uh, take a break. You are on pause. You feel like you should be on pause. You should be, you should hope for some kind of miracle and healing and all this and all that. And your ego is telling you to like uh, spy on someone like crazy because you also have that kind of feelings and that kind of energy towards them the way they are having that. Uh, and uh, uh, like along with that, you are very busy making money. You are very busy creating some kind of solid base for your future. You feel like spying on someone from a distance and your ego is telling you not to do anything about the situation because of whatever reason. You might be thinking the other person is playing mind games with you or might be Virgo, you are trying to play mind games with this person because you are not able to trust them. Or you're not able to trust their intentions. It's like, what the hell? I don't know. So let me play mind games. Let me manipulate the situation. Let me ruin the situation. I don't know. This is what you're feeling. This is what you're doing. See, even if you're going to call me a bitch, I don't care, honey. Because you are doing it, I'm going to say it exactly what it is. You feel like having a very solid kind of connection with them. But what you're doing is, you feel like, okay, why should I do that? Your ego is very high right now at this present moment. Let's see what this person wants from you. Virgo, what are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Empress. Empress. They want growth and expansion with you. Wow. See, the Empress was there also. We have... Uh, uh, like uh, the chariot twice three of pentacles empress twice what else you want let's clarify the empress as their intentions for the situation between you and them 
We have the page of pentacles in reverse, the knight of pentacles, the moon. Wow. See, this is someone who is waiting for you to do something about it. This person wants you to initiate the conversations, initiate the connection, initiate everything. Because they don't want to like uh, come towards you and uh, like uh, like make you feel like uh, you are the last person on earth and like... Uh, <laughs> They don't want to scare with, like scare you with this kind of overpowering kind of energy of I want this with you. I want to make this work out. Because they're like, okay, what if Virgo is not going to like it? What if Virgo is having somebody else in their life? What is Virgo is going to reject me? What if this? What if that? So they don't, they don't want to like uh, scare the shit out of you and themselves. And they're like, okay, let me, this person wants to wait for the time when you are going to do something about the situation. Or this just uh, simply wants to wait for the time when they will be out of this uh, unknown fearful kind of energy that they are, that they are dealing with this uh, within themselves in the situation but they do want growth and expansion in the situation a lot they want a, like uh, to see you in their future wow Virgo. see this person is ready to put in the effort and energy it just wants uh, it, this this person just wants a kick start in the situation however it it can happen let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side Virgo lovers you want choices in love or you just want uh, to like keep this connection as a casual kind of connection where both of you are enjoying each other's company having good time with each other and then nothing you want like you want it like this yep let's clarify the lovers you definitely want to enjoy this person's company definitely if there is someone in your life and they they are in this energy of uh... see the thing is for some of you you want to walk away from a third party to be with someone specific or you want somebody else to walk away from a third party completely cut off a third party out of the situation to be with you if there is a third party kind of issue between you guys for others of you i think right now you are not uh, you are not ready for a collaboration or partnership in a serious way right now you just want to enjoy see right now you just want to enjoy the company enjoy the situation enjoy the dates and enjoy the good things you are not ready for commitment you are not ready for collaboration or partnership serious kind of energies in the situation for others of you if there is a third party situation by any means or shape or form from your side from their side you just want to remove that completely and want to start a chapter with someone specific that you have your eyes on this is what you want yeah okay honey because it's too stressful for like to carry around with something or someone in this this too much to handle kind of energy so you want to like uh, get out of this situation get out of this burdensome kind of energy let's see what's coming towards you till the 29th of october virgo nine of swords can't sleep at night thinking about something or someone and continuously thinking about it and not able to understand what what can i do let's clarify the nine of swords we have the eight of pentacles the hermit and then you will be waiting continuously for something or someone and you will be stressing yourself out like crazy like what should i do what should i do what should i do it's too too much to handle but what should i do i can't sleep at night thinking about this but what should i do i don't know it could be you it could be both of you mutually or it could be one of you i don't know but the outcome here is telling me you will not be able to sleep at night thinking about something or someone continuously and not doing any uh, like no, not doing a shit about it Continuously worried, continuously thinking, creating scenarios, hurting yourself emotionally and mentally, but not doing anything about it. I'm sorry. Let's see the guidance for you guys, Virgo, in the situation. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. The guidance here is, first of all, work on your overall stability in your mind and soul and heart. 
like uh, have a connection with yourself have a friendship kind of connection with yourself and people around you start with a friendship kind of dynamic if something is uh, like bothering you a lot like a lot and if you can do something about it like uh, communicating and uh, trying to find a solution with someone if you can do it please do it don't uh, don't stop yourself from doing that it is the ultimate solution but if you can't do anything about it take it one day at a time and try to like uh, let it go with the flow let it pass one day you will be able to come out of the situation not in uh, like not in one day but one day definitely you will be able to come out of it so give yourself time take it one day at a time uh, and just let it pass let it flow there's no other solution to this just try to focus on things that matters to you don't uh, ignore it right please don't ignore this feeling this energy of you feeling uncomfortable you have to feel it completely with all of your heart and soul the more you can feel it the more the better because the more you can feel it with the intensity you will be able to come out of this quickly like more quickly hmm? so feel it and try to release it take it one day at a time if you can do something about it please do it if you cannot stop making scenarios in your mind like uh, and uh, hurting yourself emotionally and mentally don't do that honey so thank you so much for tuning in Virgo. I'll see you soon in the in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.